right admit it. The kid in you still imagines being able to soar through the skies like Superman, or wear a high-tech suit of armor like Iron Man. Actually, I'm a 25-year-old adult and I still think of that stuff. While unassisted or unpowered flight may not be a reality, yet, the latter is more possible than you think. Stay tuned to find out more on that as we give you 10 superpowers you can have right now. Number 10. Breathing Underwater Growing up, me nor my friends ever wanted to be Aquaman while playing superhero. To tell you the truth, I've always found him and his powers kind of lame in comparison to the other members of the Justice League, or rather the Super Friends, the very first superhero cartoon series that I actually watched. Now if we're talking Justice League Aquaman, ooh, I wanna be him. And then after the show, Jason Momoa happened, and he was even cooler. In retrospect, it would be cool to be able to breathe underwater without the aid of extremely cumbersome scuba gear. But what you don't realize is that we may just be a few short years away from being able to do so. Using specially synthesized crystalline materials, scientists from the University of Southern Denmark have created a substance that is able to absorb and store oxygen in such high concentrations that just one bucketful is enough to remove all the oxygen in a room. The substance is also able to release the stored oxygen in a controlled manner when it is needed, so just a few grains could replace the need for divers to carry bulky scuba tanks. Even more interestingly, the material may also be configured in a device that could absorb oxygen directly from water and allow a diver to stay submerged for long periods of time, without the need for bulky air tanks. Number 9. Echolocation This has to be one of the cooler superpowers Stan Lee's ever created, and because of that, Daredevil remains one of my most favorite superheroes. Actually, I, I lie on that, he didn't create it. You see, echolocation is actually a superpower that exists in real life. Many have heard about how some blind people can use echolocation to navigate their surroundings. But a 2013 study from Ludwig Maximilian University of Munich biologist shows that even people that can see can gain this amazing ability as well. It turns out that the ability to echolocate is a talent that lies dormant within everyone. This is because our brains have learned to shut out echoes so that we can focus more effectively on the primary source of a sound, rather than having the constant distraction of echoes of everything around us. The trick to learning echolocation is to learn to tune into the echoes that already exist in the world. Number 8. Night Vision This should be the easiest superpower to get right now. Just snap on a pair of night vision goggles and you're good to go. That is if you get a hold of one. If you can't, just try the Mythbusters method. In an episode called The Pirate Special, Adam and Jamie set out to prove that keeping one eye open constantly in the dark, like always wearing an eye patch like pirates, will improve that eye's night vision. And they did. But if you don't fancy wearing an eye patch the entire day, there is another way. California group Science for the Masses injected the eyes of volunteer Gabriel Lacinia with chlorine E6. Chlorine E6 is a chemical found in deep sea fish. During trials, he was able to see accurately for 50 meters in total darkness. If that seems too scary, a variety of bionic contact lenses will deliver zoom function, enhance your vision, and connect your eyes to the internet without needles. But they expensive. Number 7. Healing Factor Wouldn't it be extremely cool to be like Deadpool or Wolverine? I'm talking about their healing powers, of course, not everything they go through. This next superpower may not be exactly like the extreme healing capabilities that these two heroes possess, but it is definitely a close one. You see, there is a method of increasing one's immunity to disease. The Wim Hof method, which was developed by, well, Wim Hof, is a training regimen that allows a person to gain a heightened connection to and control of his body. To prove its effectiveness, Hoff regularly subjects himself to extreme feats of endurance, like immersing himself in freezing water for a record 72 minutes, climbing Mount Everest wearing nothing but shorts, and running a marathon in the desert without water. It seems that another benefit of the Wim Hof method is the increased immunity to certain diseases, and this was emphatically proven under lab conditions. The scientists were astonished by what they witnessed, but doubted that anyone else could replicate Hoff's feat. To test this, 12 students of Hoff's were brought in, and all 12 of them had identical results to Hoff. Number 6. Wall Crawling One of the most relatable superheroes of all time is Spider-Man. He was just a simple, real-world kid with real-world problems. Also, how he gained his superpowers seemed pretty grounded in reality, too. Unfortunately, getting Spider-Man's wall crawling ability by getting bit by a radioactive spider is not as easy as it seems. Fortunately, scientists from Cornell University are developing a technology that just might make it a reality. 
They are developing some kind of rapid adhesion technology that uses water surface tension to achieve strong bonds between two surfaces. The technology was inspired, not by a spider, but by a beetle native to Florida, which uses surface tension to adhere to leaves, generating a force 100 times greater than its body weight. The device is mainly just a flat plate with a lot of tiny holes with water in them. When an electrical current is introduced, water slightly seeps out of these tiny holes, just enough for the water to create surface tension. They've already succeeded in creating a one square inch plate that can lift up to 15 pounds. The device is still under development and they have yet to make something that can be practically used, but they are confident that they are just a few years away from making someone crawl up buildings like their friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Number 5. Bullet Resistance Aside from flight, what do you think is the most well-known superpower that most superheroes, and supervillains for that matter, have? Easy, being impervious to bullets. You have bullet immunity! Shoot him in the face! Shoot me in the face! In the face? The fact is, you don't have to be a Kryptonian powered by our solar system's yellow sun to be bulletproof. Bullet-resisting clothing has been around for years and has been in use in military and even civilian applications. The only problem is all of these body armor look tactical and cumbersome. You can't be lean and flexible and look sleek and sexy at the same time. Generally speaking, of course. I know some of the people find the tactical wear to look pretty alluring. However, new advances in bullet-resistant material technology has made it possible for you to remain stylish while negating the risk of getting a bullet hole straight to the chest. Actually, complete three-piece suits are now available for purchase, all of which are made with a revolutionary bulletproof material that is neither stiff nor bulky. The thing is, you probably have to be as rich as Bruce Wayne to afford one as a complete set of these super-powered suits is gonna set you back a cool 20k. Number 4. Invisibility. Ask a number of adolescent boys out there what kind of superpower they'd want if they had a chance to get one. I bet you a million bucks that invisibility would be one of the top answers, for very obvious reasons. Funnily enough, invisibility is not one of the most common superpowers in movies and in comics. Well, we have the Invisible Man, Sue Storm, and Harry Potter with his invisibility cloak being the more well-known wielders of this superpower, but that doesn't mean you wouldn't mind having this power yourself, now would you? Well, thanks to good old Japanese innovation, this extraordinary power could be available in the near future. Japanese scientists have developed their version of Harry Potter's invisibility cloak. It's even made of some light silvery material and can make its wear instantly disappear. But their similarities stop there. The Japanese invisibility cloak doesn't rely on ancient magic to work, but it actually works by using retro-reflective projection technology. This is a process that creates an augmented reality and then projects it into the real world. Sounds a little convoluted, right? Well, to put it simply, the material that the cloak is made out of acts like a flexible screen, which projects whatever the camera attached to the back of the cloak sees, giving the illusion that, when looking at the wearer directly from the front, of seeing right through them. When and if this technology will be public isn't known, but it would definitely be really cool to have it. Number 3. Super Speed. Yes, there are a lot of extremely fast people in the world, but it's really hard to distinguish if someone is just faster than normal and someone who has super speed. It's even harder to believe that someone on Earth actually moves at superhuman speeds, but the fact is, there is one. And you probably know him. I'm talking about Bruce Lee. Yes, the man has also been credited for having superhuman speed and reflexes. There are a few things proving this. One, it's been said that in order for the camera to actually film his movements, Lee had to actually slow his movements down, but even that wasn't enough. In order for moviegoers to see his movements properly, the film actually had to be slowed down a bit more. If that isn't super speed, I don't know what is. The human body is capable of doing amazing things, and even you, with a bit of training and discipline, could be as fast as Bruce Lee. Fast movement, however, is not the only element of lightning speed. In order to be capable of utilizing this speed effectively, one must also have super reaction time. Without this, all the speed in the world is meaningless. Fortunately, this can also be brought out by intense training. And now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is a superpower that I'm sure all of us dreamed of having back when we were kids, the power of flight. Although unpowered flight belongs exclusively to the realm of fantasy, something actually exists that could give us the next best thing to soaring through the air like Superman, that being number two, the Martian Jetpack. For decades, science fiction has teased us with notions of strapping on a jetpack and soaring through the clouds. Numerous inventors have tried over the years, with middling success, to create jetpacks for all of us. 
but pretty much every model created has suffered from one particular flaw. They can only fly for about 30 seconds. Martin Jetpack, a New Zealand-based manufacturer, is changing all of that with the development of a jetpack system that promises flight of 30 minutes or more, and it will have the ability to fly not just people, but also equipment into hard-to-reach areas. The company's current model, which is still in development, is being marketed to first responders like firefighters and search and rescue workers. They are going to be pretty expensive, though, with a price tag of about 250 k So if you have that kind of money burning a hole in your pocket, you can get one as soon as they become available. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1! Iron Man's Armor Wait a second, is this for real? Actually, yes it is! If the U.S. Special Operations Command, or USOCOM, has its way, we are less than a year from seeing someone walk around in a fully functional Iron Man-esque suit of armor. Based in Florida, this branch of the U.S. military is actively developing an exoskeleton built to enhance the strength and resiliency of the wearer way beyond human limitations. Officially called the Tactical Light Assault Operator Suit, it is a heavily armored exoskeleton equipped with an amazing array of technologies, making it quite similar to the Iron Man armor. Although this suit is still being developed, the people involved in the project estimate to have a fully working prototype within the next few months. After that, it's only a matter of time before we see people decked out from head to toe in this armor. As of right now, flight is still not an option though, but let's give it a few years and see where it goes. Which superpower did you want to have when you were a kid? Let us know in the comment section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing things? Check out any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.